Okay, I have a little issue here I'm hoping somebody can help me out with. I have one of these uh, HP X360 laptops that I was just working on. I uh, just replaced the, the battery here on it. And that's working now. The, bat the uh, laptop is powering up now without being plugged in. But the issue I'm having now is, is that the keyboard is not functioning. Uh, reason being is that this uh, ribbon cable here is not uh, inserting correctly into this uh, locking clip connector. And so what's happening is when I put this let me see in, when I put it in and press down, you can see it's not really uh, locking, it's not snapping into place. It just kind of moves up and down no matter what I do. Um, now the connector does seem to be functioning properly. You can see when I press down, it does kind of snap into place. And you got to put a little pressure to pop it back up. Although there's not that much tension on it, so I'm not sure if it's working 100% properly or not. Um, things I've tried so far um, is I've <laughs> not much, but I've tried tape. I've tried uh, sliding this the uh, the cable in, kind of clamping it down, and then kind of taping it um, down onto the motherboard. Uh, I've powered it up and had no success with that. I've also tried um, putting a layer of tape right here at the, the tip of the the cable, maybe to, to attempt to try to uh, make it a little thicker. I didn't know if maybe some of the problem was that uh, the, the the tip of the um, the cable had become kind of compressed, and maybe that's why it wasn't being able to um, lock down properly on it. So I put a piece of tape right there to make it a little bit thicker. Um, I, I didn't really have much success with that, um, with it, you know, improving the um, the connection, powered it back on, still didn't have any uh, function of the keyboard. So, I'm just asking, is there any hacks out there? Does anybody know of a way to repair this? I've looked online, I ha haven't been able to find anywhere that sells these little plastic clips by themselves anywhere. Um, is there something that I can do that I'm not thinking of to uh, restore the functionality of this keyboard? Thank you so much in advance.